morning everyone it's tuesday and i completely forgot to vlog my breakfast i ate it too quick um i just had two slices of seedy bread and butter well butter toasted and an apple because i wasn't really feeling much today i was just like oh, i'll just have that so um i'm now just about to go into therapy and i will chat to you once i'm out hey guys so i've just got out of therapy and i'm now on my way home breakfast has kept me full again i'm so impressed i've also taken a nice little liking to apples again because i went off apples a little bit and now i'm really vibing with them love it oh my god let me go let me uh, my therapist said that i'm glowing so um I defo think that's down to being vegan. So yeah. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me. Say, boy, let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. So I'm home now and I've just chucked on this jumper because it's breezing in here. Um, but I'm just about to start sorting out our little conservatory area because tonight I've got all my students over and we're doing a little showcase viewing and an awards night with loads of snacks and blankets and just have a really nice chilled night together. Um, so I need to like clean it, I need to put all the blankets down and like make it really cosy. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to have lunch and then I am going to Kitty's. We just literally decided this like five minutes ago, but I'm going to go and cut her hair. I don't know why she's trusting me to do this, um, but I'm going to go cut her hair and then we're going to pick up her little brother from school and then I'm going to come home and then I've got the girls over. So, woo! little gathering setup complete so we've got this little blanket which is Primark with these cushions the two front ones are Primark and then the pineapple one is from Ikea then as we go along a bit I've just got another little blanket another Primark cushion very comfy and then this little quilt thing which my auntie Jenny actually made for me when I was born super cute and really comfy got my yoga mat out which is TK Maxx and then I've got these three cushions which are also Primark and then finally this bean bag so that is kind of what it looks like we haven't had this room done yet in our house but I think I've made it look pretty cute so yeah the girls are also bringing blankets so we're gonna have a really cozy little night in I'm very excited so lunch today is a pretty simple one that I've just got Hummus, which is my all-time fave, cucumber, pepper, and a bagel to dip in. It's a red onion and chive bagel. Oh my God, I didn't know these were vegan, and honestly, they're one of my favorite types of bagels ever. So I'm very excited to eat this. I also had some hula hoops for a snack. And yeah, this is pretty much like a typical Phoebe lunch. So nothing much has changed here. And of course, I've also got the vegan butter on. They're not normal butter, so yeah. I'm excited to eat this. Hi guys, so it's about one o'clock and I'm just walking to Kitty's now. It's absolutely freezing outside. Oh my God, I'm so cold. Oh, um, I'm now gonna go and cut her hair. Bit nervous, can't lie. Don't know why she's trusting me, like I said before. However, should be interesting. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit when I see her. <laughs> I'm home from Kitty's now that was really nice I cut her hair and we just had a real chill time I didn't film too much um 
But yeah, I'm now just about to get changed because I've got the girls coming over in an hour. But I just had a really quick snack of one of those yo-yos again. There's no point me showing you it because I've already had one yesterday. But yeah, I've had a snack and I am ready to rock and roll. Good morning, guys. I look a bit like a car crash this morning. Um, I've woken up with the worst sore throat ever. I feel so ill. Um, <coughs> yesterday... I had loads of girls around, which was so, so nice, but it meant that I completely forgot to vlog my dinner. Um, but I had lentil bolognese, and it was honestly so good. Like, so nice. I think I might have it for lunch again today if I'm not out. Um, but yeah, it was really, really nice. I just forgot to video it because I was with them, and yeah. So, that was all I had yesterday for dinner, and then, obviously, this morning, you've just seen my breakfast. But yeah i'm not feeling too good but i'm hoping that maybe i can recover from this illness quick because i'm eating lots of antioxidants and stuff who knows i don't know but i'm feeling good otherwise i'm feeling not sick like i said earlier on in the other vlog don't feel sick i feel pretty energized i mean i'm tired this morning but i didn't get a very good night's sleep so that's not surprising um but other than that, like, my body feels alive. I feel ready to rock and roll. Like, I'm feeling good so far. And it's day three, and I have kept to it so far. So, fingers crossed, I can continue. So, yeah. This morning for breakfast, I have porridge with soya milk. And then I have some raspberries, some walnuts, and some apple jam, which is actually homemade. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh, my God. So I am actually off shopping today. I really fancy going shopping and like I said the other day, I didn't actually end up going. Um, but I'm really in the mood and I've got to get a couple of birthday presents and stuff. So this is just my outfit of the day. thought I'd show you. I've got on this Primark midi skirt. It was only £13. What a bargain. So comfy with my Converse. And then this top, which on the back says, girls bite back. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's really cute and I feel like it's just a really comfy outfit and I'm going to be indoors all day so just thought I might as well just wear something super comfy and then I'll probably just put a little jacket on just to go because obviously it's winter but yeah that's my outfit and I will speak to you in a bit but I'm actually going to take a couple of snacks there just because I don't know if I'm going to be staying for lunch and I don't know what there is there that's vegan um, so I'm just going to take a couple of snacks with me but yeah let's go <laughs> I've done major damage. Sneak peek. I'm out of the shopping centre now and that was really successful actually. I only went to Primark and a couple of stationery shops and a shoe shop just because I don't have money to spend <laughs> so I didn't want to do the whole mooch around the shops find loads of stuff in the sales and end up buying it all because I don't need anything but I did end up spending quite a lot in Primark not gonna lie um but it was stuff that I needed some stuff not but that's all right like I don't know they had loads of nice summer stuff in and I needed a new pair of sunglasses and I needed a couple of other bits so I ended up getting them and then I ended up getting some other stuff I wanted to try a dungaree dress like I tried on some bikinis I was going full out because <laughs> the Primark over here is massive whereas the one where I live is absolutely tiny and really rubbish so I wanted to make the most of it um so I did that and then I went to a couple of stationery shops because I just wanted to have a little mooch see what they had and I also needed to get a A4 notebook because the one that I'm currently using has run out and it has like sections and stuff. I'll show you when you get when I get home. Um, but I use it for my account work for my company, so I needed a new one. I also got my friend's birthday present as well, which was really good, and she's gonna love it. And I got a couple of cards. Um, so overall, really successful shop. And I'm now gonna head home for lunch. It's like half twelve, but I'm absolutely ravenous. Um, I was going to stay and have lunch. But I'm not going to lie, I actually would rather not spend the money and just 
get home and have lunch straight away so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drive home now and then i will see you when i have my lunch i'm home now and on the way home i just stopped off at this massive tesco store um, just to see if they had any vegan corn because we've realized that our corn isn't vegan so it's got egg in it um to bind it so that's a bit stressful and there was but it was literally so expensive and i just thought nah you know what forget it however i did pick up some things you wouldn't think these are vegan they are texas barbecue flavor pringles i was so hungry i ended up eating a few of these too um so yeah these are vegan fun fact all the pringles are vegan i think then from the frozen section i need to put these in the freezer because i've been driving for a while but i got these linda mccartney six vegetarian sausage rolls they're actually vegan um i'm really excited to try these i'm just i'm buzzing absolutely buzzing I love a good sausage roll and baked beans so that's like a good lunch meal for when I come home from work on a Saturday so I think I'm gonna try them then but I'm so excited oh my god I need to put them in the freezer and then so there was this like this whole vegan vegetarian section in the uh, freezer aisle and I saw this brand called Kirsty's and it I don't know if it's a vegan brand or if it's just like free from like a free from brand like um linda mccartney for example is a vegetarian brand but things are vegan but this is a vegan pizza it's the classic margarita pizza with an italian stone baked base and it's rich italian tomatoes and deliciously creamy dairy-free vegan cheese it's suitable for vegans and i was just like oh my god i really wanted to try a vegan pizza so i'm actually gonna have that for lunch because i thought why not i'm gonna have a salad with it and this just proves though that veganism, if you become vegan, is not necessarily healthy. It's your options that you choose because this isn't healthy, <laughs> but it's vegan. Do you know what I mean? I think people think they go vegan because they want to go on a diet. They want to lose weight. They want to blah, 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 blah. But no, that's not the case. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna pop this in the oven now. And then I'm also just gonna show you little snacks that I got, but I'm gonna put this in the oven first because the sausages are defrosting. Right, my pizza's in, all is well. It's got 15 minutes. Um, I've just realized that it says on the back here, they're a free from brand, this Kirstie's thing. So it's not actually a vegan brand, but they do so much vegan stuff. Like there was such a massive range also noticed that vegan food like this sort of stuff is very expensive <laughs> this pizza was three pound fifty like um but yeah i guess if you got a pizza express one it's like the same price but yeah from what i just got out of this box mm, i'll see i'm not gonna judge it yet but <sighs> there wasn't much cheese on it vegan snacks I just got two little bits just because they were on special offer and I feel like it's quite nice for a sweet little treat and it's also pretty good for you because I love like naked bars and stuff but they're always so expensive and I was going to get some more because we've only got one left um, but there were none on offer so I got these which I'm very excited about so we've got these ones which are raw millionaire bites so salted date caramel it says and then Bicky Bombs, chocolate ones. They're by Olivia's Kitchen, which I've heard a lot about, and they were a pound each, which I think is quite expensive, um, but they were reduced from 150 each. So I was like, whoa. So I thought I'd get them, um, but they're all natural. So these millionaire ones have smooth raw chocolate, soft date caramel, and then a crumbly oat base. And, they're, those ones are like the ones that I'm really excited to try. Then I just got these ones as well, just because they do look good. Crumbly biscuit, soft date center, and a raw cacao coating. They sound good. And also what I like about this sort of thing is, as I said before, with veganism, you can, you can still be unhealthy. So like for example, Oreos are vegan. And I didn't want to buy Oreos because I am trying to be healthy with it. So I thought if I get these instead, I'm still getting like my sweet treat, but it's just not as bad as like an Oreo because Oreo's got a lot of refined sugar in. Mmm, yum. Right, I'm now gonna wait for my pizza to cook and then I will see you in a bit. 
I've made a right hash of trying to cut this pizza, but it looks so good. Oh my God, I'm really excited to try it. Right, taste test. Here we go. I feel hot. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Oh my god, that's really the tomato sauce is so good. I haven't really got to the cheesy bit. Mmm. Guys. Oh my god. I'm literally I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. That tastes like normal pizza. What the hell? I'm freaked out. So I've just filmed a YouTube video and I'm now just gonna chill and watch a little bit of YouTube, edit that and also try these Livia's Kitchen Bites. I'm gonna have the Royal Millionaire Bites. I'm gonna have one and then I'm gonna try one of the other bites too. And then I'm gonna pop them in a little Tupperware. But they're quite chunky, like, you. I reckon I'll only need one of each. Oh my god, I'm really excited. Okay, right, let's try one. So they just look like that. Interesting. Oh! Mmm! Oh wow. I'm gonna lie, they don't taste like mini their shortbread. But they have the exact texture, like with the caramel, the chocolate, and as you bite in the chocolate, like breaks. Mmm. They are nice though, but you definitely couldn't eat the whole packet. Right, let me try one of the chocolate bombs. So you get two Bicky bombs in here. They're quite chunky. They look a bit like um, tea cakes. Right, let's try one. Oh my God. This one tastes raisiny. I really like this. Mm. <laughs> For dinner, I'm actually cooking an old food tech gem. <laughs> I'm having sweet and sour vegetables with chickpeas and noodles, and I'm just cooking it right now for the fam. Um, but I'm really excited to have this. I love this dinner, so. And this is the finished dinner. So we have red pepper, yellow pepper, sweet corn, chickpeas, pineapple, rice noodles and then a sweet and sour sauce um so i'm gonna eat this now and tuck in i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and i will see you tomorrow for another day of vegan